Good day, friends. It is me, AHL Mod Tech. And if you're looking behind me, that is my five favorite lessons for starting a classroom. When I shared this, a user said, hey, what are your five favorite code blocks lessons? I did some thinking and I'm ready to share. So let's get cracking. Alrighty, friends. So coming in number five is the code blocks Tinkercad Jet. Friends, I'm giving you an order, but these are all excellent starters. When we hit play, check this out. This is how code blocks work. All these pieces of code over here run in order and design the shape. Now, when I created these, I give you all the steps. You just need to follow closely, have the same numbers, and you'll get the exact same results. It's a fun way to use code and make an awesome design that you can also bring into Tinkercad and use on the rest of your projects. Coming in at number four, friends, is the Tinkercad Code Blocks Picnic Table. Once again, when you hit play, you can see how each procedure is run. We make a plank, and then that plank is used to make the top of the table. And then we use scale and other awesome code to flip, nudge, and arrange it. So when we are done, we have an awesome picnic table that once again you can bring into Tinkercad and use and reuse in all of your Tinkercad projects friends coming in at number three is the code blocks rocket this one i'm going to speed up so you can see i've got it on max speed once again the procedures are all here but when this one finishes there's something called launch check it out friends this is one of my favorite skills to add in as the rocket actually takes off at the end friends coming in at number two is the code blocks lighthouse once again friends this has some awesome rotation so it looks like animation i've got the speed popped up so it shows up cool watch how quickly this lighthouse builds and has the sweet little animation that goes along with it friends coming in at number one is the code blocks spiral staircase check out this amazing bit of code as it builds a staircase that spirals that you can then add to all your projects one of the reasons i love this one the most is because i have got a playground project where in normal tinkercad we make a spiral slide and then there are extra lessons where you create a swing set a teeter-totter and then the final part of the lesson is you have to build your own awesome piece of playground equipment using the skills you've gained so far so my friends, you will have links to all five of these lessons right here. There is no order you have to complete these. I try and make every lesson so clear that even if it's your first one, you will learn about code blocks and you'll have success while you build something also. If you're in a classroom and you see students struggling, it is most likely because they're trying to skip through the video and they're not listening to what I tell them. I give you all the numbers, I show you all the numbers. If you take your time, they work out really slick. Friends, you may also notice there is a bonus Among Us character. Friends, that one is a ton of fun and kids dig it, so there will be a link to it down below as well. Don't forget, friends, if you got a question or a comment or want to reach out, you can track me down at HLModTech on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HLTinkerCad. Lastly, friends, if you're on the HLModTech.com website, you can reach out using the messaging tool and get a hold of me almost instantly. Friends, I hope you have a ton of fun designing with code. And if you enjoyed the video, please give me a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day